workers at this nutritional supplement plant race to meet orders. But no matter how hard they work, they can only meet 15% of customer demands because the plant lacks the capacity to handle large orders. Young entrepreneurs like Komlan Basa are constrained by a lack of funds and government support. We want the government to act on two parameters, to create a bank to support young entrepreneurs and to invest more in skilled youth instead of wasting resources trying to appease every unemployed person. This way the skilled individuals can set up businesses to employ young people. But reviving the economy is not the only concern for Togolese in this election. In rural areas where most of the population lives, about 60% of the people lack access to electricity and clean water. There is widespread poverty among the population. There is little or no economic empowerment for the poor. Some voters want a change to the current regime. To them, it will mean economic freedom. Togo is rich, and as the president himself acknowledged, resources are currently controlled by a few individuals. This is unacceptable. Campaign rallies are underway as political parties try to convince the voters to support their candidates. Members of the Yasimbe family have been in power here since 1967. Many Togolese aren't sure if changing the younger Yasimbe will make any difference. But President Fong Yasimbe's supporters believe he provides the security and stability that Togo needs. But the opposition insists only it can grow the economy and bring prosperity to Togo. But many voters are less confident of a quick fix to the economy and their living conditions. I'm not going to vote because I can't go and queue up to cast my ballot for a change that never comes. But when I know my vote will make a difference, maybe I'll change my mind. For now, she's passing up the thrill of casting her first ballot. And like her, many others think the politicians are out of tune with their needs. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Lomé.